Hi everyone, but welcome back to Couch Cruisers. Unlike our last episode where most of the things we looked at were subjective, this time around we're going to be using hard data to examine the asking price for used sailboats. In examining the asking price of used sailboats, what we're going to do is scrape the data from one of the popular used boat sailing websites. Uh, with all that data, we're going to collect every used sailboat, monohull sailboat for sale in the 30 to 60 foot range, 1960 to present. We're not going any older than 1960 because those are mostly custom boats and the price actually starts to increase past 1960. Once we've scraped all that data, we're going to dump it into a database, analyze it, and try and answer a couple of questions. What is the most economical length of boat to buy? What's the most economical age of a boat to buy? And how old is too old uh, money-wise? At a certain point, boats start to appreciate instead of depreciate because they're considered antiques. Um, and finally, what is the minimum amount of money you would need to get your foot in the door for a used cruising boat? So in our data collection, I was able to grab the information on 17,000 some boats. Um, here they are broken out by length in feet. Uh, for this entire presentation, all the measurements are in feet and dollars, empirical measurements. Um, one thing we can see right away, if you're looking for a used boat, somewhere between 34 and 40 feet has the most boats for sale. So it might be a little bit more of a buyer's market in that range with more to choose from. Uh, these are only monohull boats, again, and 1960 to present. Here we're looking at the average cost of these boats, starting with the 30 feet and going all the way up to 60 feet. Um, with your six, and these are average costs in dollars. You can see here that the 60 foot or the 55 to 60 foot boats are getting up to a half a million dollars. So what I'd like to do is just drop those off of our analysis and say everything under 50 foot is probably what more of the audience is going to be looking for. So here we have the average price of boats, 35 to 50 feet. And as I said, I dropped off the ones above 50 feet because I don't figure a lot of you want to spend a half a million dollars on a boat. I also went ahead and dropped off the ones that are under 35 feet because I figure most people are planning to go cruising and that's why you're watching this channel. And uh, under 35 feet, while it could be used for cruising, I think most people are going with a, a partner, maybe some children or maybe two or three crew members. And 35 and up would really make you a lot more comfortable. So average price by length. Here we have the exact same chart as last time, the average price by length, but what I did is I went ahead and added in the standard deviation. And these are one standard deviation away from the average cost. One standard deviation means that 33% of the boats are along that line going up and 33% are on the line going down. So 66% of the boats are within the average are within that line that you see there. Um, what this shows you is where you could expect to find a deal on a boat. As an example of where this might be useful, you can see that the 45 to 47 feet boats all cost almost identical. So if you're looking for a boat in 45 to 47 feet, you might as well shoot for the 47 because you get a little bit more boat for your money. Um, the other thing to notice here is you can see with the standard deviation, there's a larger range in prices for the 47, so you might be able to find, or there's an, a chance you'll find, a 47 that's cheaper than your 46. Here we have the same chart as before, boats 35 to 50 feet, the average price with the standard deviation. Uh, the change this time is this is only showing boats that are 15 to 20 years old. What I really like about this one is if you look at the standard deviation, if you were to spend $75,000, you could buy a boat according to the standard deviations in almost any size along that line. The other thing that the standard deviation tells you is if a boat falls outside of that range, you need to be looking at why is this boat outside of the range. If it's above the standard deviation range, are you insured? Are you making sure that you're not buying sentimental value and you're actually buying quality? If it's underneath the center or the 
standard deviation. Are you buying a clunker or are you buying something from a motivated seller? It just gives you another piece of data to examine your purchases from. All of the previous graphs have been price to size. Now we're changing to price for age. What's interesting about this one, if you take a look at the 10-year-old uh, boats, the price really falls off a cliff right there at 10 years old, uh, which you can see about right here. So if you're looking to get into the used boat market, 10 years old may be the place to start looking. The other thing that I think is interesting about this one is the 10 or the 15 to 20 year old boats all have about the same value. So if you're looking for a, a good value, you might want to start looking at the 15 year old range because that is the newest old boat you'll find at that 15 to 20 year old price. Finally, if you look at boats that are in the 1970 to about 86 range, those ones are all pretty flat in their value. So if you're looking at a boat that's that old, you might want to go to the start of that range because why not have the most recent hold that you can? It will have experienced less stresses. And But once you get back to this old of a boat, what's really going to matter is when was the last refit done because that's going to hold most of the value. Thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate your time. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe as always. Um, additionally, your feedback is very much appreciated. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you liked it, didn't like it, let me know. I'd also appreciate your ideas on what other videos that you would like to see and you can leave those in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.